Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Beria here. I'm the director of orthobiologics at The Ohio State University, and we are reviewing our technique for adipose processing using the Autopose device. So to this point, we have completed our infiltration of all of our tumescent fluid, and that has sat for 20 minutes, and now we are ready to begin the adipose harvest. So for those steps, we just need a few simple supplies. We have our Autopose Restore syringe, we have our 14 gauge caraway needle, and then we have two 15 cc saline uh, syringes for, uh, for our rinses. So we also have our autopost stand, syringes that we'll transfer into for final application, and then two lower locks and a lower to lower connector. So here is a close-up of the Autopost Restore syringe, and so a couple features to take note of. So it is a double syringe system, so we've got the first syringe that we're going to perform our lipo aspirate with. When we're doing that, we're going to pull it all the way back until the device locks in place, and you heard that little snap. You can unlock it simply just by pressing there, and that'll help depress it. And then the other portion of the syringe once we unlock it here, is the inner syringe that we're going to push down, and that's going to filter it through the 800 micron filter. So we're ready to begin our harvest. We're going to insert that 14 gauge caraway cannula into our incision site. Same plane, still sitting in the horizontal plane, using our free hand as our barrier. And then when, once we've advanced that cannula about 50% of its depth, we're going to be well seated in that adipose layer. So that's when I'm going to take my free hand back, stabilize the outer portion of the device, and then find that top syringe, and I'm going to retract it until the device locks. Once it's locked in place, that's created our vacuum seal. So we're performing our harvest here, exact same movement patterns, just that wedge-like pattern in the horizontal plane, making sure I'm guiding with my free hand. And you can already see the adipose is starting to be pulled into the restore syringe. So a common occurrence is that you'll lose vacuum suction, and that can happen because you retract too far and you'll lose the suction. And so you heard that kissing noise. And so if that happens, all you need to do is retract the entire device back out, keeping good sterile technique this whole time. I'll just remove the cannula, unlock the device here, push my plunger forward. That's going to remove our excess air. Be careful not to go too fast so you don't get any splatter. We reattach our cannula, reinsert the device, and recreate your vacuum. So now we've completed our lipo harvest and we're ready to remove the device. And once we've done that, we're ready to begin our final processing. So our lipo aspirate has been completed. The Autopost Restore syringe is full. And so now all we're going to do is remove the cannula, place our lure lock on, and place it in the decanting stand to allow the infernatant to come off for five minutes. So now that we've let the Autopost Restore syringe sit for five minutes, we've clearly got a fluid separation here where the infernatant has come off. You'll notice the adipose here is very yellow. It's not going to look like this in live patients. It will have a bit more of a red tinge to it. I mean, it just looks this way because we're working on a cadaveric specimen today. The purpose of these next steps, the decanting and the rinsing, is all to remove cell debris and red blood cells, uh, which we're just lacking in this specimen. So now that we've decanted and we've got this uh, layer separated off, we're just going to, over the, our basin, remove our lure lock, unlock the syringe, and expel that excess fluid. So we're ready to perform our rinse steps now. And so what we'll do is we've got two syringes of 15 cc's of sterile normal saline. And so this rinse step will be repeated two times. So what we'll do is we'll inject the 15 cc's into the restored device. We'll let that sit for three minutes. We'll then expel the excess fluid once that has sat for the three minutes, and then we'll do a second wash cycle. So we simply just take our 15 cc syringe, we remove the lure lock, we hook up using our lure to lure connector, and then we inject the 15 cc's. We remove that lure to lure connector, we recap, 
and then invert several times to make sure that the rinse wash step is completed. And then let that sit for three more minutes. All right, so both wash steps have been completed. So you can see the infernate is here. So we're ready to expel that. We just remove that lure lock, quickly unlock the syringe, and expel that excess fluid to get our final adipose product that'll then be ready to be resized through our filter. So our adipose is in its final step, ready to be resized in the restore syringe. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our fingers on the wings here on the outer syringe. Our thumbs will go on the outer ring here on the inner syringe, and we're gonna start gently pushing. That's gonna move the adipose through that 800 micron filter for the resizing step. Once it's been moved through the whole filter, I'm just going to unscrew this inner syringe here. That's your final product ready for final transfer. So we have our final product here ready for transfer. So we're just going to hook up the syringe here to our final application syringe using our lure to lure. And I like to control both sides. So we'll give a gentle push where the final product is currently and then a pull over here where we're transferring to that helps you control the volume. And you just simply unhook and cap, and you're ready for use. The Autopost system is an ideal system to efficiently and safely harvest, rinse, and resize adipose tissue.